Hey, Reina. I'm glad you're here. Nice to have someone to talk to. I'm not having a very good night at all. Not at all. Kind of scared, actually. <coughs> Thanks for the like, Rena. Uh, my roommate, who I've been trying to get out for over a week now, I've told him I needed him to go. Not an actual roommate, he doesn't pay rent or anything. Uh, he's a friend that I've let stay here. Anyway, he came home drunk from playing music. He plays music every Friday where I used to play music. Um, I just mentioned that I wanted him to, um, you know, work on getting his more of his stuff out. And, uh... Yeah, he... got extremely angry. Punched two holes in my bed, my spare bedroom door. Called me all the... nice names that you can call a woman. If you don't have any respect, anyway. Um... So then I said, you need to go tonight. At least, you know, get out of here for the night. And, um, yeah, that's when he kicked the, the hole in the door and then the spare room door and banged around out in the garage. He um, then went out to get ready to leave and in my driveway yelling fuck you very loudly yes this wasn't uh i'm afraid he's gonna come back he already tried to call i didn't answer so i'm very scared he's a very violent type person when he when he gets mad especially when he's off of his meds which he hasn't been taking his meds very regularly lately So I'm scared. Yeah. Now I have a big uh, split and a hole in my spare room door where he kicked it and hit it, punched it. Yes, it's a great night. I haven't had a drink in, what, three months? I'm thinking of having a drink tonight. Oh, no, did the nif niffler or whatever it is I got, did I get another male? Instead of a male and a female, I think I did. That's a male. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? I could just look. Well, I called my daughter. She's aware. Although she just went to bed. So she said, you know, if I need her to give her a call. Okay, that's a male nibbler. Oh, I have two males. Um, no, I'll just call the police if he comes back. Gives me any crap. Oh, I really am anxious. I really wanted to have a drink and calm down, but I don't want to drink because it's been three months. And I'm not like trying to be like a sober person, but I wanted to go like six months, but I'm really anxious. But thank you, Raina. I know you understand. Hang on, I gotta let the dog out. He was so violent that my dog got so anxious she peed in the hallway. You have to go outside, baby. Come on. 
I'll clean that up. Hang on just a minute. There you go. You could go outside. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I think I am gonna. I might make myself a little drink. I'm really anxious. I shouldn't. have a bunch. Just gonna have a little bit to help me calm down. I've been trying over the last week to nicely, you know, like give little hints like, yeah, okay, we gotta start packing your stuff up. Blah, blah, blah. But, uh, He wasn't getting the hint. Bye. Coming right back, you guys, I promise. He knows the code of the garage door. Ugh, I hate this. Hang. You gonna go out, baby? Come on, baby. Riley, little girl, you need. You gonna go pee? And go outside? Oh, 
Fu fu fu. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Everything is locked up tight. Oh, great. Where's Leo? Is he outside? I think I locked the door out. The dog outside. I haven't called the police yet. No, Brian. All right. Gerald, I haven't. Um, where's Leo? Where'd you go? Okay, let's try to relax. <sighs> Hopefully he will just stay at his apartment and sleep it off. <sighs> I don't really have anyone to call to stay with me, but... Ugh. First drink in three months. Oh boy. Uh, hey baby, lay down. It's all right. Ooh. My anxiety is at about a nine and a half right now. Sorry, you guys. I don't mean to bring you into my drama. I mean, that's not your... I'm sure you don't want to hear about that. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions. Not in the mood for it, Deke. Not in the mood, Deke. Hopefully I won't need to call the police because stupid California law says that if he's lived here for, I don't know, three or four weeks at a time, he has to be like officially kicked out and going to have to go through all kinds of legal crap. I hope he doesn't know that. Hey, those gloves are better. I think. Yeah. I am going to write an official eviction notice, even though he's never paid a dime in rent. <clears throat> Happy Easter sunshine. On, baby girl you're okay it's all right he's gone now come jump up baby come on wait do i have a spider one what did i have on the other gloves oh ancient magic Come on, Riley, jump up, baby girl. I already have Inferior, so let's change that to Ancient Magic. Riley, come jump up. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Ah, baby. Oh, I've had um, a friend of mine, a guy living here. Not anyone I'm involved with, just a friend. Been living here off and on for a couple of years. He just stays here, and it's been fine. I mean, it was just a company, and doesn't pay rent or anything. Um, I finally have had enough, though, because he been taking advantage of me for a long time doesn't pay any rent you know doesn't pay anything towards you know he'll buy some groceries now and then or something but he doesn't really like contribute oh, and uh so about a week ago i told him i wanted him to start getting his stuff out and i don't think he thought i was serious because he hasn't done anything and then tonight i mentioned it again when he got home which was a bad time to mention it because he's drunk but he's always drunk when he's here I mean, he, the minute he gets home, he's drinking. So anyway, he got extremely violent. Broke my bedroom door, kicked a big hole in it, and punched a big slit in it. And, uh, he's calling me all the names. All the awful names that you could call a woman. Things that you would call a woman when you don't have any respect, basically. And he doesn't have any respect. So anyway, and then he went out in the driveway and yelled the F word, F you, well, he said it, he screamed it really loud. I'm sure the neighbors enjoyed hearing that. And <sighs> left, but I'm afraid he's going to come back and, you know, try to come in or something. I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm trying to just... Calm down. That's why I made myself a drink. I haven't drank in three months, but, you know, I'm not an alcoholic. I was not drinking because of that, so I think it's okay to have a drink when I'm needing to calm down. Hi, David. I don't know about this one. This is a tough one, but let's go do it. I'm a little edgy. You guys know why. Well, hey, David, welcome in. My poor little dog. She was so scared. He was even yelling at her and saying she was a stupid dog. And she's is being very rude. It's okay, baby. Yeah, I think he's gone for good. Oh, David, thank you for the stars. Yeah, I haven't had a drink in, like I say, three months, but I was just quitting because I want to lose weight be healthier but tonight whew, thank you so much David I'm having a drink so I take it you heard what's going on so you know that I'm not having the best evening <sighs> being treated like a treated like dirt and cussed at and sworn at and called all kinds of names and breaking my house, literally breaking things. I don't even know what he broke in the garage. I heard him hitting things out there. I didn't go out. Um, yeah. Part of the fun of being a woman who lives alone. Well. Revelio. I mean, we never even saw each other, hardly. We'd pass here and there. Is that a... what is that? I heard a ting, but I don't think it's... Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Relax. Just breathe. 
free. I will feel better, David, when all of his crap is out of here and he doesn't come back over for you. Something is tinging. There's a page here somewhere. Is it in here? Boy, I'm doing a lot of Revelio tonight. <clears throat> it's been quite the revealing night. Nope, didn't hear anything, but you don't need to go over it again. It's wrong for him to come. Well, I'm just trying to get him to move out. He doesn't pay rent. He d he's just destructive and stuff. And I told him a week ago that I wanted him to start getting his stuff out. And then tonight, when I brought it up again, he had just gotten home from playing music and he was drunk. And. He just went off on me. He broke my bedroom, my spare bedroom door. He kicked a hole in it, and punched a, you know, big slit in it. Uh, banged up stuff in the garage, called me all the horrible names, banged around, yelled, F you, but set it out in the driveway as he was leaving. He, he already has anger management issues. Uh, that... He takes meds for, but he hasn't been taking his meds much lately, he told me. So, he told me that the other day. <sighs> so, I'm just kind of scared, actually. But, cheers, David. Oh, I'm so tight. My chest is so tight. I'm so anxious. <clears throat> I wonder who lives here. I'm going to take that quest off for now because I want to do a different quest. <sighs> I'm trying to stay calm, sunshine, but I, I know what he's capable of, and it scares me a little bit. Why can't I go downstairs? Come on. Down the stairs. There. Sorry, I have to take deep breaths. That's what happens when I get anxious. I can't breathe very well when I get anxious. No, I can't go back there. Why can't I talk, though? There. Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Well, I 
ass Milo and his mad schemes. I know it's wrong. But Milo, he's, he's my doing. friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had they had known he wanted to procure venom from a living Acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I'm very sorry to hear Oh, I forgot him. Oh, Naughty girl, I should have said you deserved I it. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's absconder. name for the Acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> In fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is... as Paul Milo has proven. Impossible to get from a live acromantula. Okay. If so... I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please oh, you'd be forget surprised. I said anything. I am a Slytherin. I gotta go easy on the drink, have a nut. Oh, where could for that acromantula months. cave be? I am. Um... Could you please remind me what you needed help no, with? No, I wanted his My friend his Milo and I went to an acromantula's cave, hoping to harvest its venom. It didn't go well. I'm hoping someone can... Re I want to sell you stuff, Ding Dong. Revelio. Oh, it's right there. Thank you, you guys, for your support, though. I really do appreciate it. Willard to ask you to follow those butterflies into the Forbidden Forest for her. Not the bravest person, that Clementine. Why am I jumping? I keep jumping. I don't know what I'm doing. My mind is preoccupied. It's going to tell me that. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. A pleasant enough little place. A little more. Okay, so you guys talk to me, distract me, tell me jokes or something. Tell me what you did today, what the coolest part of your day was. Talk to me, please talk to me. I need some distraction besides the game. Revelia. Mine now, demoguys. Although I've already gotten all the demoguys that I need. I mean, I'm sure there's more, but. <clears throat> Sunshine, what did you do today? I didn't really do anything today. I um, slept in later than I should. Revelio. That was, excuse me, very tired. And then I just did some general straightening up, paid my bills, did that on the computer, so yeah, just general stuff like that. Well, and then I asked my not really roommate to leave and got into an alter, big altercation over that. Not an altercation, but ah, uh, it didn't go well. La 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 la. Alohomora. I finally shaved my body after I'm like hair. No, it's not for a woman. Like your whole body? Like arms, legs, chest, back, everything? Oh, well, David, a man with chest hair is sexy.
to me. Uh, visiting my family and son. Watching it rain. Yeah, we got a little bit of rain this morning, but then that was it. A puffskeen statue. Puffski wusky skeen. If he tries to break into my house, I would be highly upset. Rebellion. That's what I'm scared of. What's in here? Oh, a wand handle. Cool. Nothing there. You've lost over 30 pounds just drinking water? See? That's good. I'm glad you're drinking the water. Washing out your system. That's good. Congratulations, sunshine. Yeah, I always do better when I drink more water. That's why I was drinking water and tea instead of alcohol. But tonight is an alcohol night. <laughs> I want to light the fire. I just want to light that fire. I work out, so I like to see my improvement, and I don't like mm. hair on my body, so uh, I'm so glad I don't have back hair. Oh. <laughs> what does a baby computer call his father? Oh, hang on a minute. A baby computer calls his father... Mm. Raina, that's a good one. Let me think about it. Uh. Oh, gosh. Big Mac? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Reyna. But thank you for making some jokes. I need, I really need to lighten up. <laughs> Come on, I know there's more stuff here. I think I already went in this. Oh, there's something on top of this roof here. No. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, 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 burr. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I need to go. Find the absconder's cave. Uh, okay, Reyna, I give up. What does a baby computer call its father? Papa, daddy, uh, hard drive, PC. I don't know. Why is a toothbrush called a toothbrush? Because you brush your teeth with it? <laughs> that I don't know either. These are good, you guys. You're making me think. You're getting my mind off stuff. Thank you. Revelio. Hooey. Wooey. Leo, come jump up your puppy. Come on. Come jump up jump up here with your mama. Yo mama. Okay, Reyna. Oops. I need to know what the baby computer calls his father. Oh. 
Well, if you can't enter mall mounted and you can't land, how the heck are you supposed to get there? Uh, no, because a redneck invented it because they only have one tooth. If a normal person made it, it would be called a teeth brush. Oh, well, then it should be called a hair's brush, right? Because you're brushing all your hairs. I guess you call it. Raina, you can't leave me hanging. Why? What does baby computer call its father? That's a good one, David. I liked it. What is this place? What does a bunny use when he goes to the hairdresser? Uh, oh, Leo. No, I don't know what you have there, but you shouldn't have it. Uh, what does a bunny use? Um, oh, you guys. Are... Oh, I didn't see. Ah, uh, see, I'm missing comments. Data, data. Oh, okay, I got to refresh. Get it, Leo. Get it. Get it, Leo. Get it. <clears throat> Hair spray. Oh. Raina, I couldn't see your comments, but I do now. I refreshed. I'm sorry. Hairspray. That's cute. Cute. It's cute. Is there anything here I want? Um, wish I had some to... Ask you guys. Oh, that's hog's meat I'm headed for. Why am I headed there? Oh, now Leo wants out. Ugh. I don't like having the door open and unlocked because I don't want him to come back. Climb the fence. My fence is locked, but knowing him, he'll climb the fence and <laughs> break in. Here you go, puppy. Leo, here, go outside. Go outside so I can shut the door again. Outside. Go ahead, puppy. Go out. <sighs> well, I know what he's going to do. Yeah, Facebook is broken. It's the comments. Um, wait a minute. How come does a bunny hop? How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? How many tickles to make an octopus laugh? Um, ten tickles. Oh, oh, Raina, I got it. Tentacles, right? <laughs> um, why does a bunny hop? That I having a little trouble with. What makes a bunny hop? I don't know what makes a bunny hop, but did I get the tentacles right? He goes to I hop. Uh -huh. Gotta go a little farther here. Tentacles. Did I get it right? Oh, I hope I can see your comments when you comment, Reyna. Stupefy. Absconder's cave. That means I'm gonna be fighting spiders. I don't like spiders and snakes, but I'm bump. What kind of an animal yeah. A unicorn den and moon calf. Okay. Oh, Raina, did I miss if you answered me? Oh, that drink tastes so good. I haven't had a drink in so long. I'm like sucking it down way too fast. How many things are lucky on a bunny? Lucky? They're 
foot? Two feet? Whoa, I fell down and went boom. A rabbit's foot. Ah, uh. oh, oh, oh. Revelio. So I'm basically going to be fighting spiders in here. Oh, and there's people over there. Wait a minute, it wants me to go. Where does it want me to go? Like down there? <gasps> I thought this was like a river, but I guess not. The cave not. must be somewhere in this maze. I wonder what else is in here. Spiders. Oh, I hate snakes too. I. It's not that I hate snakes. I get very nervous. Snakes make me very nervous. And, uh, yeah. The roommate is kind of like a snake. Are you coming in, puppy? Makes me very nervous. It's always volatile. I always have to be careful. <coughs> Wait, am I going? Which way am I supposed to go? Oh, this way. Hi, puppy. You gotta lay down, baby. I'm gonna go shut the door and lock it. Lock it good. Ba ba da ba 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 Gotta get his shit out, and then when he's which is about it, I'll say it's out front. Go ahead and get it. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice, nice, baby. Oh. Wow. Okay, I... Oh! Crap, what happened? What got me? Did I get myself? Oh, I looked away. I thought the notification said playing Skyrim. Were you playing Skyrim earlier? No? It shouldn't say I was playing Skyrim because... I did, haven't changed the notification. Which notification? The one in the... In the chat group? Oh, Leo's hiding because he's scared too. <clears throat> My dogs are scared. Puppies, you're supposed to be brave and protect me. What are you doing? The dogs are scared. <laughs> of 
course, Salukis aren't known for being watchdog. They're known for alerting you. They will alert you when something's going on, but they're not necessarily... Come on, puppy. Up here. Leo, come on. They're not necessarily, like, aggressive towards people. Confringo. <coughs> Leo, come here. Um... I've caught snakes before. I had to be extra careful. I did see baby diamondbacks, but chose not. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Come on, Leo, up here. Not to catch them because of the fact if they do bite, they pump you with more venom than an adult. Well, even an adult, you don't want to catch. Look at all those little red things crawling around behind me. They're up above me. Leo, come on. Come on, puppy. Everything's okay. It's okay. Yes, everything's okay. Mama's going to take care of you. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen again. He's not going to come back. <clears throat> He's destroyed my spare room. A freaking disaster area. What's up here? <gasps> oh. Ooh. Nice one. I don't like spiders and snakes. It's going to tell me my gear slots are full pretty soon here. <clears throat> <clears throat> now I have to look at my notification because... Are you talking about the one in... In the chat group? Gerald? Sorry, I got a hiccup. Puppy, just lay down. Come on. Leo, lay down. Bam! Wham, bam. Leo, good boy. Oh, man, he couldn't get any closer to me if he tried. <laughs> uh, I feel bad when he scares the dogs. That's when I got pissed. When he scared the dogs so bad that Riley just peed, I was like, mm-mm, no siree. Oh, I have to go this way? Oh, I don't want to go. What's down here? Nothing. If you can sneak up on them or are able to distract with one hand and crap the neck, you're good. Yeah, I don't mess around with rattlesnakes, David. I just uh, stay away from them. I have no reason this to catch could them. could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. It could be. Acromantula cave. I mean, why do you want to... For me, David, why would I want to catch a rattlesnake? I mean, what would I... <coughs> well, what would reason would I have for... Oh, crap. That thing's huge. Okay, we're going to put our... Put this here for a little bit. No. There. Um, I don't have any reason to catch so a rattlesnake. Infamous absconder. Oh, crap! Wait a minute. It's not the Crucio. It was supposed to be that. Stop it, you A. Not on this one. 
no, it was supposed to be on the big guy. Golly, stop it. Help me. Help me. Stop it. <laughs> oh, crap. I couldn't use that again. I hadn't refilled. Uh oh. That's taken care of. I need to find the heirloom for Milo's daughter. Oh, I got it. Ooh. Yeah, the baby rattlesnakes don't know how to control their venom. They just let it all out in one bite. But the adults know to okay. keep it, you know. Let it out in little amounts at a time. Come on, where's this freaking heirloom? Where the freaking heirloom? I want the heirloom. I like the boogie. Revelio. Oh, you're playing Fall Guys? I should, I should play that with you. That would be fun. You're already at your destination. What's the news across the nation? You are at your destination. Oh, come on. Where is it? Oh, trying to breathe a little easier. I figured he'd be calling and calling and calling, but he isn't. So hopefully he's passed out. And he won't be calling Fringo. and calling until tomorrow. I'm sure he'll start pretty early in the morning, like he used to when we were together and we would break up. And it was just constant. I need to bring this heirloom back to Mr. Adley. My gear slots are full. I knew it. So you just play against random people when you play Fall Guys, right, David? I can't believe he broke my door. I don't want to go through making him have to replace it because I don't want to deal with him. And I have to replace the bedroom door. That's effed up. I don't know how expensive inside doors are. It's not a, like a fancy door. So maybe I can just replace it for not much. Can I get Fall Guys on Xbox? David? I know I had it on the PS4, but I don't know about Xbox. <laughs> I found a new spider. One that won't make me sick. Bear, bear, bear. 
let's see what this handle handle looks like. We have this one. It's nice, but it just looks like this. It's all one color. Uh, I like the teal. It's so pretty with the brown. So is it on? Let me. I'll, let me stop and look here for a second. It would only take me a second. I thought it was a PS only thing, but I could very easily be wrong. Hang on, David, I'll look. Hang on just a second. Just a gosh darn second. 69 down. No. It's only 18. That's 64. No. 65. No. Hey, David, let me look real quick. Let's go to the App Store. And we're going to search for F-A-L-L. -L. I can get Ball Guys for free? David, should I get it? Now, are you playing on... Um, Can we play against each other if you're playing on a different, if you're like playing on a PS and I'm playing on an Xbox? <clears throat> Brian Sonier is here. Yay! Game saved my marriage, but my kids, kids still hate me. <laughs> Comments are cracking me up. How would we do that? How would we find each other? How do we find each other, David? It's been so long. How do we find each other? Hogwarts might be a little uh, jiggity right now because. downloading another program. Get me out, love. How are you doing, Brian? What do you play it on, David? Do you play it on a PS? PS, I love you. Oh, wait a tick. What is that? Oh, that's the moon calves. You're getting jiggy with it. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. To a really crappy night. Crappy enough, it made me drink. 
Well, you didn't make me. Make me! <clears throat> so, I guess I would just need to know, like, your name on the PS4? What are you drinking, David? What is your drink of choice? Mine is vodka with some fresh lime juice and some lime sparkling water. Landing is available right now. Stop it. Thank you. Whoa, whoa. We need Alden to come in here. Alden always cheers me, but... I haven't been able to cheers him for a while because I haven't had any alcohol. <gasps> Whoa, I didn't mean to jump that far. I didn't mean to jump that far. Malibu and Cherry Dr. Pepper. Ooh. Tasty. Tasty, tasty. Oh, uh, your teeth are still hurting, Brian. Oh, man. Brian, I tried to... I told my roommate again tonight that he needs to be out soon. And he flipped out. Got super angry. I'm not going the right way. Where am I supposed to go? Anyway, he broke the bedroom door on the spare room. He... Uh, cursed and swore, scared the dog so bad, Riley peed, uh, called me all the nasty words you can think of for a woman that you don't respect, and, um, yeah, yelled F you, the whole, whole word, from my driveway, scared me, like a place right out of a storybook. <clears throat> scared the dogs. Yeah, so I'm very anxious uh, tonight, so I'm actually having a drink, which I haven't in three months. Oh, but... decided, I guess. Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket Oops. watch from my body. puppies are so scared, they're all huddled <laughs> around. Merlin's beard! <laughs> How did you? Me. Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about the Acromantula ever again. Thank Acromantula. You. Thank you very much. Either that or have, it, have her too This full. is quite difficult to retrieve. <clears throat> Shouldn't I get a reward for my trouble? I, uh, of course I'm happy to pay you. I, I can't afford much. I promised to pay for all the supplies Milo's daughter will need to attend Hogwarts one day. <laughs> I'm a snot. I'm a Slytherin. I don't think you realize the trouble I went to retrieving the watch. Perhaps you can sell it for the girl's <laughs> supplies. I should never have mentioned the heirloom. Such selfishness. Here is your money, <laughs> you extortionist. <laughs> That's me. You're no better than Rookwood and his Ashwinders. Yes, I am. Much better. Thank you very much. Now, can I sell him stuff, or is he just going to stand there? Rebellion. Can't sell him anything? What's the use of having a guy you can't sell stuff to? <coughs> so, yeah, Brian, you missed all the... Um, excitement about my roommate uh, cursing and swearing and calling me a C word and a B word and F you and all that stuff breaking my door it's been a fun night okay let's see what else can we do we got a new wand handle another one I thought we already looked at it. Oh, we got another one? Checkerboard brown. Ew, no, that's oogly. That's foogly. We got some headwear. Yeah, Brian, so I'm having a drink, and I haven't had a drink in forever. Uh, three months. But I was so anxious, and I needed to calm down. So, let's go to the map now. Whew. Let's look for other little minor quests with that little icon. Icon, 
Ika. I need to get another um, measle because I have two males and I need a female. <clears throat> I screwed it up when I did it. Niffler Den. Okay, let's go there. We'll go from... Oh, there's the dragon. This is a dragon skis. Go from there. Yeah, it was real fun around here, uh, Brian. Me fighting, uh, not fighting. I hope you have your my uh roommate, quote unquote. She's never actually been officially uh being a bit of a snot. Breaking in the door. Oh look. He looky. <clears throat> being violent. Slamming things. Breaking things. Swearing a lot. I may go to Hogsmeade later, stir up some trouble. They need to be reminded that we're still running things. Okay, I need a female. That's a male. What's this? Okay, I need female, please. Female, female. Female Niffler. Then I have to find a Niesel Den. <coughs> There's a female. Yay! Hey. There, there. There, Not there. Going Not going to hurt you. And then. Let's go look for that other. Um, sit up. I don't sit up. I need to sit up. I'm sorry if you went away. I need a kneesel. But there. I haven't found a nasal den yet. I need a nasal so I can do things. I can upgrade oh, all my stuff. <laughs> Did you hear what I said, Brian? I don't know if you heard me or not. But yeah, it was a bad night. Now, ex-roommate is being an S-H-I-T. A real S-H-I-T? Oh, I'm getting a little loopish from just half a drink because I haven't drank for so long. But I don't want to feel like crap tomorrow because I've got stuff to do. I've got to start packing up his crap since he didn't take it. He couldn't handle me saying, okay, so we need to be packing your stuff up. But, oh, you just throw me out right now? I said, I'm not throwing you out right now. I gotta stop talking about it. Sorry, you guys. I tend to talk about what's on my mind, and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear about it. <coughs> <coughs> Giant purple to Oh, Pupsy. Dane, you need to come and protect me from my to be well now ex roommate the thing about stupid california is that um once they've lived if someone's lived at your house 
for like, I don't know, a couple weeks or whatever it is. You have to like formally kick them out. Even though he has his own apartment still that he pays rent on, he could be a shit, excuse my language, and uh, bite me on it. Oh, I pulled the trigger and he nearly pulled a trigger on me. He broke a door two places, the door of the room he was, spare room where he was staying. He, um, Punched some things out in the garage. Called me all the really nice things you can call a woman that are really not nice. The C word, the B word. Stood out in my driveway and yelled it as loud, yelled as loud as he could, "F you!" But he said the whole word. <clears throat> I don't see any measles. I want the measles. Anyway, yeah. It wasn't good. It isn't good. Wait a minute. I think I'm just going to go back to the room of requirements. No, not Hogsmeade. Hogwarts. So, Dane, I'm actually having a drink tonight. First time in three months. I got so anxious and couldn't breathe. I wanted to relax. The dogs are so scared they're like curled up right around me. Wait. The Niffler isn't in here, is it? Oh, stop! Didn't want to do that. Sorry, little guy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm afraid he's going to come back and pull the trigger on me, literally, because he does have guns. Although they might be here, I don't know. I don't know what all he took, because he left abruptly. I, I wasn't trying to make him leave tonight. I um, mentioned it, and he got so mad and rude that I just said, Okay, you need to go now. I'm not going to talk to me like that in my own house. And, um... Crap, what am I doing here? Anyway. It's been a fun night, Dane. Now I'm scared that he's going to try and come back. No! Jeez, why do I keep doing that? No! That's what the guy, the poachers say when I'm, <laughs> when I'm getting him. Oh, I'm really anxious. Because he's a type who'll do stupid stuff like, you know, breaking the door. Which he did. He kicked it and he punched it. He didn't just kick it. He kicked a hole at the bottom and he punched the middle so there's like a, um, like a line. Oh, he's pretty stupid. It's not that he's stupid, Dane. He has very bad anger issues. And he's on meds for it. He doesn't take them regularly. And <clears throat> he told me the last few days that he'd been forgetting to take them. Oh, I've been taking my... Whatever it's called. That was one of the main reasons that, you know, we were a couple at one point. Kind of off and on. The off and on. The off part say was because he would get like this I'd come home if I had a night out with my girlfriends and 
He didn't like that. He'd be hiding in my backyard. Um, right, and he would have broken things. Like broken fences and doors and stuff just to get in. So yeah, he is pretty dumb. I just hope he doesn't know about that law. That he could fight it. Oh, you know what? Thank you, Brian, for saying that. Because, yeah, I don't want my whole stream to be all about my issues. It's just that I know I can talk to you guys, and I appreciate it. Um, I'm not even going to go after him for the door, Dane, because I do not want to have to go through that. He's broken stuff of mine before, and it took forever. And he wanted to be the one to come over and fix it. And Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. I'll just get a door. I don't think they're that expensive, are they? Just regular indoor doors. Hey, baby, baby. Baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Hey, little baby puff skin. Where the toad, toad the wild sprockets is. Oh, I can get your fur. Get your warts. Your warts. <clears throat> your hair. Your hair. Where'd the puff scheme go? That one. Yeah, I'm not going to push the door thing, Dane, seriously, because I'm honestly afraid of him. I'm afraid of his anger because I know what he's capable of. I would rather just not deal with him. I'll buy a freaking door. I don't think they're that much, right? Nurture, 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 nurture. Oh, there's a puff scheme still to collect from. Not that one. This one? There. <coughs> Go to Lowe's, pick out a door, and they will come install it. Well, I can have my son-in-law installed. Hey, Nate, thanks for coming in. My son-in-law would install it. Saying I don't. Alden, I'm drinking tonight for the first time in three months. Alden, cheers. <clears throat> Altercation with my now former roommate. He was breaking things and screaming and yelling things and threatening things. And I made him leave completely in. Um, yeah, I got so anxious, I decided to have a drink for the first time in three months. So, Alden, clink. Alden, clink. Cheers. Cheers, Nate. Except it's not a good thing. I broke my three-month no-drink thing, but I wasn't, like, on a sobriety thing or anything. I was just not drinking because I, well, for one thing, I'm trying to lose weight and it was helping and I was just trying to be healthy. But when you live with someone who doesn't respect you, breaks your things, insults you, doesn't ever pay any rent, or anything towards yeah it wasn't pretty tonight Nate he broke the bedroom door the spare room door where he sleeps was sleeping 
totally broke it. Kicked a hole in it and punched a like a, like a slit in it. Oh wait, I have a little guy to let go here. Here you go, little guy. Little girl. So we have guy, girl, and we have guy. Let's take this guy back. Everything's all right now. Make room for more, and we'll let this one go in the wild. No, he, it was horrible. He was insulting the dogs just to try to get to me. I'm like, you know, insulting me isn't going to get to me. It just makes me... I was just talking about it. I wasn't even saying he had to leave tonight. But then when he started calling me all those names... Uh, scared the dog so bad that she like just peed in fear and she's shaking and then he's like your effing dog just peed I was like well that's because you're oh yeah that's because you wouldn't even let me get out that's because of me yeah everything's because of me and I was like you know what just leave tonight he's like oh now I have to leave tonight yeah that's when he started punching things and this and that and I was like well I wasn't gonna have you leave tonight but, but you're being like this. Oh yeah, it's all my fault. I was like, yeah, it is your fault. You're the one who's being a whatever you want to call it. I didn't call him a D I C K, even though I wanted to. I stayed very calm. I didn't use bad language. I didn't swear. I was very good about it, I thought. I felt. <clears throat> Let's breed a little Niffler. Breed a little Niffler. Uh -oh. Just because we have it. Um, but now I'm really anxious because I don't know. He might come back. No. Anyway, he's being a jerk. He doesn't like it when he doesn't get his own way. He hasn't been taking his meds for his anger issues. So it was just a crappy night. So Alden. Cheers. David is cheersing with me. Dane, I'm pretty sure you're not cheersing. You're probably still not in the mood for any drinks after the other night. <laughs> on your birthday. A little too much on your birthday. Woo -hoo. I just hope he doesn't come back tonight. He tried to call once and I didn't answer. Which will, of course, make him even madder. Why would you even answer? I just want to talk. He'll do that whole thing that he always does. Uh, this reminds me of the days when we used to be together and he would get so pissed. If I didn't... Um, Answer the phone or answer the door or whatever. Puppies, it's okay, babies. You're okay, babies. Da, 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 da. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. I don't think I have anything. Oh, I do have stuff to identify. Da, 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 da. Okay, what can we make better? You better, you better, you bet. Not that. Ooh. No. Da, 
da 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 If I get a little animated, it's the frickin' alcohol. I apologize. I should not stream and drink, or drink and stream. But I am. Oh, that's a waste. 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 You can't bring things up 59. 51, 72, 68. No. Well, Nate, I'm okay for now. I don't know if he's going to come back in the night, in the morning, in the whatever, and try to... break down the doors. I He knows the code to the garage, but I brought in the... I brought, I had a spare key, like, out in the garage, so if I ever got locked out, I could open the garage door with the code, and then I could always, you know, use the key I had hidden out there to get in. And he knew where that key is, but I brought that key in. So even if he gets in through the garage the door into the house from the garage is locked with one of those little slide things, which he could break into if he really tries, but hopefully he won't. I just he won't really try. But I get a little nervous, because I just don't know with him. If he's been drinking, yeah, he'll try it. He'll do it. If he's not drinking, he'll be all, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll replace your door. I just was caught off guard. I just... Anyway, he's always sorry. So sorry the next day. So sorry. Oh, I would love a round of hearts. I need some hearts. Why isn't he giving me the Phoenix quest? I don't know. What does it take to get the Phoenix quest? I want the Phoenix quest. Ugh. Wait a minute. Why don't you give me the quest for the Phoenix? Where's little Deekster? Deek thinks you should be proud of your potions. Well, okay, fine. I'll just go do this. I'll mark it anyway. To mark it, to mark it. Okay, we'll go here. And then we'll do it. Round of hearts for me. Burp, 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 burp. Open, I don't get. You can't imagine I'm not on how inconvenient night, travel was before murdered. I invented flu powder. <laughs> and I had a drink, so I have to pee. I'll be right back. Oh.
Thank you for the hearts, you guys. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, I thought I heard a little bloop. I don't know what that was. Um, I'm kind of excited, like, to get up tomorrow. Take, I've got a couple empty boxes around here. And just start throwing his crap in there. And, um... Like, I can get rid of it finally, and I can maybe, like, actually have my spare room to myself where You've I can made put up a hog stuff safer. in there. And for that, I thank you. I can actually have some room for stuff. Okay, sell this. Bye-bye. Sell that. Bye-bye. Sell that. Bye-bye. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. If I had that spare room, I could put a lot of the stuff that I got from my parents' house that is currently in the living room, because I have nowhere to put it. I could put it in the spare room, and then my living room wouldn't be so cluttered and it would be and oh my gosh, I'm kind of excited. Oh. I don't know how to change. Oh, my sincerest gratitude. Make it your gaming room. Oh, that was cool. So... Except I didn't have to sit in there to, to stream. Although that's not so bad. Except that I plugged, plugged my laptop directly into my modem. My modem's out here. Um, Good thought, though. A good idea. So good. Um. Thank you for passing through. Oh, Nate, I don't expect you to to send me stars. I just appreciate. I just your support makes me happy. Love you too, Alden. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you, Dane. Love you too. If I could sit. Nate, I don't expect stars. Really okay. I'll be okay. It's just I have to get past the next. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Past the next few days where he's going to be like hammering, like, I ah, want my stuff. You have my stuff. At least let me come get my stuff. I remember you. Your generosity helped me afford this rather exotic snake construction. Okay, let's go. Do this doodah. Okay, but if there's a... I'm just really scared, you guys, to be honest, because he can be very... One of the reasons I was always kind of afraid to ask him to leave was because, you know, we played music in the same place, but he'd been playing with music with the guy longer and I was afraid that he was going to put me on the outs so I couldn't play I music anymore. My but I don't play music there interest. anymore because they treat me like crap so I'm I done with people treating me like crap I've been so I preoccupied by like all that happened with Ominous so and the Kasakum not, not to mention my own reaction that, being stronger that I've fine. almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych <clears throat> this is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it that's incredible you know this area well and while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and oh, discovered Dane. an abandoned mine to. nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's and loyalists. You wouldn't Do believe you think how there's a I mean, connection I have to the triptych? In the garage right I have no idea. Of him. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Sunshine, is it? Are you here, Sunshine? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very Sunshine? Well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. dun da dun da 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 Oh gosh.
Hang on, I'm trying to find. I'm look what was I looking for? <sighs> I was going to look up my stream so I could find something, but I don't know now. <clears throat> Let's go, Buckaroo. I'm supposed to be following you. Buckaroo. Um. Darn it, I got sidetracked. What was I saying? <laughs> um. Oh, changing the passcode. Yeah, I don't know. To do that, you need two people. I do need to do it. I'll have to get my son-in-law over here to do it. That's not what I was going to say. I was looking up my stream because... Oh, you guys, I'm missing comments. I just noticed. Hang on. I have to refresh the page again. Oh, crap. That was my phone, sorry. Um, I'm sorry that I'm missing comments. It's been doing this lately. Okay, so... If I could, okay, put his stuff in the garage. Put all the stuff outside if somebody takes before them. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh, David, thank you for the star. A thousand stars, David. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Nate, thank you for the sweet little... Um... Little love things. No, I am living in fear right now, but hopefully... That will end soon. I forget why I wanted to look at my stream in the first place. He's going to do something. Yeah, his stuff is going out. Oh, I was saying that... There they um, are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. Oh, gosh. I, don't I was saying that he plays music where I used to play music, so I never wanted to piss him off too much because he would put... He would get the guy who leads no it against me. Is mine. Kill anyone who tries. <clears throat> Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. Hello? What was the choice? Come on, That was unimpressive. Uh -huh. oh. 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 Get away with that. Oh. Oh. Ow! Stop it! Bam! I hit a ranger with stupefy? Well, where is there a ranger? I don't see freaking ranger. There's still guys here. Bastion. Sebastian. Sebas. I that's the only reason I'm having drinks tonight is because I'm scared. I mean I was really scared. That's uh, I can't pick that up. Cause he really is the type. To like, well, obviously, to destroy stuff, because he's destroyed my door. They're not that expensive, though, right? Oh, I've been here already. I remember this place. Oh, Bastion. I like to just call him Bastion. Bassy. How nice of you to stop by. Bam! Uh. 
disarm. Oh wait, I have to change it to the disarm thing. Disarm charm. Where is the enemy? Oh. Well. Well. Revelio. You guys, I don't know what I would do without you. Seriously, I'd be sitting here by myself, just so scared and feeling so alone. And I don't feel alone, even if you're far away and can't really call the cops for me or anything. I still feel not alone, and that is very cool. Revelio. Okay, so Sebastian, come on, be a man. Man up, Sebastian. I'll be quieter than a jobber knob. One hundred and eighteen. Holy crap. This was just a play. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to share to you guys. The door looks like. Duh. Okay, hang on. Let's see, I don't know if I can share. I can't. Never mind. I can do it in the family, though. Nate, are you part of the family group? You're not. I'm going to add you, Nate. And Sunshine, if you don't mind. If you don't want to be part of it, just take yourself out. Take yourself out. <laughs> but anyway, here. I'm going to show pictures of my door. What he did to my... Oh, crap. That's not what I want. Um... what my door looks like now. I did a good job. Nate, you don't, or Dane, you don't want to be part of the, the group chat, right? We don't really send that many messages. Yeah, first he punched it up by the doorknob and then he kicked it at the bottom. So yeah, nice guy. But that's what kind of door it is, so. Revelio. Hopefully they're not that much to replace. This is going well. He's been living we here a good team. for like we do at that. six, seven years. Pretty off and on, but pretty much on. But still Once paying again, rent in some apartment. Way through, we'll and, discreet. uh... But you know never which one I'd choose. Being there. Um. It's broken a lot of things. I was only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. What's that? Who's that? Love to what? Wait a minute. Uh, Nate, I'm sorry. Oh. Hang on. And the fun is over. I gotta get fun through the fight first. <laughs> it is. 
And that was relatively fun. Relatively? You guys are so awesome. I just don't know what I would do without my Skyrim family. My streaming family. Whatever you want to call yourselves. Basically, you're my family. I should tell oh. you, rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. Oh, that's oh, nice. nice of you to Nothing tell me I now. Seen before. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. I'm not afraid, Basti. Bastian. Avelio. Bastion. He's Sebastian. Wait. Says there is a chest. No, it says there's a chest this way, but I already looked in here. Oh, oh, ho, ho, looky, looky, it's. Back here. Bop, bop. Gotta save. Oh, uh, I used to work in the door shop, Burton Lumber, here at Salt Lake. A long time ago, when I went through divorce, homeless, and addiction. Oh, wait, hang on. A pre-hung one. A standard home door? A cheaper... The dog house? Wait a minute. Oh, dog. That's D-A-W-G. No, that's not the... That's my page. I mean, that's my group. I used to work through... Be a part of the family. I would love to be part of the Nate, you are part of the family. I'm just talking about the, the messenger group where I send messages saying like, okay, I'm going to stream tonight or I'm not going to stream tonight or Alden how would I do that but see I'm not a I actually feel sorry for him I'm an empath and I I know that he's struggling he has nobody he doesn't have at his apartment he has no electricity he has, it's his own doing and I know that but I always feel sorry for people. Not always, but I feel sorry for people too easily. I am too empathetic. I feel bad making him leave. But if the, but tonight, I did not feel bad. Tonight, it was like, you know, you're going to F up my house and scare the crap out of my dogs? Mm -mm -mm. You are out of here. Bye bye, love. Bye bye, happiness. Hello, loneliness. Think that I can cry. Ah. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye. Ah. Sorry, I'm being, uh. Silly. I'm being so silly. Because I'm so relieved he's not here tonight. I'm relieved. Um. Wait, Dane, I don't understand what you're saying. I asked if you want to be part of the chat. Chat. Alden, I was expecting worse, David. That's jacked up. Oh, <laughs> David, I'd like to tame his ribs. Thank you, David. Thank you, Alden. It's nice to know that there are people that would <coughs> protect me. <clears throat> It's partially my fault because I've let him stay here way too long, longer than I should have. But it was because I say, like I say, I'm an empath. I always feel sorry for people. I always look at, you know, what they need instead of what they're doing.
Oh, Reyna, you're still here. Or did you just come back? I don't think Reyna is in the... Revelia. The messenger chat group. Um, Reyna, I just sent pictures in the messenger chat group showing everybody what he did to my door. <coughs> <coughs> Which shows kind of what he's capable of. I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. Oh, the mushroom tea. There we go in. I thought it was soup. <laughs> mushroom soup. Aunt Rena, I'm sorry. I don't understand why that happens. It really annoys me. I don't know what to do about it. <clears throat> I would do it. I would do it if I could do it. For better or for worse, we're in. Hey, what do they want me to do here? Because, oh, these guys are both going to get why is a grapple you are? Someone's here. Get accustomed to that. Come and knock on my door. This mine looks like a tomb. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Off accidents were reported. Oh, that's now from I a TV why. show, and I don't own the rights to it. To Raina, I'm sorry. That's frustrating. I don't want people to be up frustrated with my stream I want you to enjoy it you're here for the fun <clears throat> am I going the right way you can go the wrong way go the wrong way I don't think I can. Oh, I can. I can get over here and get that and that. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Come on, Basti. Bastian. <laughs> Three's company. I know, Rain, me too. It was quite a silly show, but it was fun. That one, and what was it called? Uh, the first thing Tom Hanks was in, um, where he dressed, they dressed up him and what's the same? They dressed up like these women. Too disgusting um, for even a spider to prey on. That called. I mean, nowadays, I guess it would be banned because they dressed up like women, which is weird. But what was the name of that show? Uh... Whoa! Buckaroo? Not your best friend. Hit a ranger with stupefied. Let's get this over with. No! I 
can't I do stupefy? Let me do it. Let's just do, do it. I said to hit it with stupefy, but I never got the. Too many. They definitely. I never got the, something uh, here. They want. What do you call it? Option. I didn't get the option to use stupefy. So, whatever game. If it is, it is. Okay, which way are we supposed to go? <clears throat> that ledge okay. is awfully high. I Any like ideas? good times. Bosom buddies. Yes, Dane, I love Bosom Buddies. That was such a good show. It was so silly and funny. And nowadays, they probably wouldn't even let it be on air, which is ridiculous. I mean, we've gone backwards. Going backwards. Backwards. Backwards, USA. Sorry. I've had drinks. I haven't had drinks in a very long time. And now I have. So. Levio so. Or Levi. Why? Okay, wait a minute. I messed that up. Wait a minute. That's not what used to be. Is that what used to be on here? Oh, it is. What? Utah bans selling the new rainbow logo Bud Lights because it's sexually explicit? It's not sexually explicit. It's a freaking rainbow. Oh my gosh. I'm not gay. I don't care if someone's gay. Why do people get so scared of somebody being gay? A rainbow is not has nothing to do with sex. It's just represents, you know, all the colors, like all the races, all the genders, or all the whatever people identify with. Why do they have to act like... Oh, sorry. I'm not going to go off on um, political rant here, but it would be really easy to do. That makes me not want to ever come to Utah again, because that is freaking ridiculous. Nate, do you agree with that? I'm sorry if you do. I don't mean to be rude. Well, the rainbow doesn't mean anything sexually to me as a... It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. A heterosexual person and the rainbow to me just when it comes to I don't know how to say it gender roles it just means basically it's everybody accepting everybody a rainbow has all the colors in life we have all the people it has nothing to oh God, it's not as it's not like saying oh you should screw Young children or everybody of your own. Anyway, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm already angry tonight. Yes, Dane. Pink Floyd, yes.
Well, to me, the rainbow, like in the Bible, it says that the rainbow is God's way of saying, not there's hope. Oh, gosh, I can't say it even right now. I've forgotten. I'm so jumbled up in my thoughts. But. <sighs> Could Basically, be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Mallow sweet. So on to get some mallows. Okay. If I go this way, what do I get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Boop. Boop. Another day older and deeper in debt. Deeper in debt. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to slide. Hang on, i got to use the little girl's room because one day the rainbow will no longer... Yeah, the glory of God. Thank you, Nate. That's what I was trying to say. Will no longer be misused by senders. Closer soon. The rain will... The glory of God when Christ returns and makes all things new. So are you saying that you were grieved? That the rainbow shouldn't be used when it comes to um, gender stuff, Nate? I'm just asking. I'll be right back.
Okay, I got some good comments to read here. Hang on a second. Hang on, I got a fucking rock or something in my shoe. Oh, there it is. Oh, crap. Let me go. Oh, man, I just had it. Oh. Hopefully it fell out. Let's hope it fell out. Okay, um. Let me look back here. Let me look back. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Uh, one day the rainbow will no longer be misused by Sanders. The poster said the rainbow will be used for the story of Garland. No, they shouldn't be able to use the rainbow because they ruined it for the Native Americans. And now it just, oops. Hang on. Has it ruined it for the Native Americans and now it just means something so horrible. It's sad because the rainbow is a respect for us. What do you mean horrible, Nate? Are you um, anti-gay trans people? Old belief saying that you disrespect it when you point at it, you'll lose your fingers and it's a covenant between God and Earth. I don't know how else to say it, but now I guess it means a covenant between two men. No, that's not what it means. It means being accepting of all kinds of love. Yes, you have freedom to your opinion, Nate. I'm not knocking it. The Bible says God was promised never to flood the world again like he did with Noah. A true prism has seven colors, the one being used by the LGBT. G has six. They are not the same. What color did they leave out? Ah, oh, my gosh. I, Sorry. To me, people are getting way too sensitive over way... I shouldn't probably talk, but to me, it doesn't mean a rainbow doesn't now doesn't mean a man loves a man and a woman loves a woman. To me, a rainbow means you're, it means, it represents love of all kinds. You can love whoever you love, and it's okay to love somebody no matter what. That's my interpretation. I haven't gotten into it. I haven't read about it, so maybe I'm totally uninformed. I just, I don't care if a man loves a man, or a woman loves a woman, or a woman loves a man, or a man loves a woman, not I don't care, but I mean, it's okay. I don't, I personally would not be involved with a woman, and wouldn't be involved with a man who loves a man. That's just me, but that doesn't mean it's not okay for, love is love. Sometimes you can't help who you love. And it shouldn't be a sin to love somebody, in my mind. Oh, wait, I should save here, because we're about to slide. Oh, gosh, I haven't been, like, loopy, since, loopy like this in a long time. Alden, where are you? Alden! Usually when I would get loopy, Alden would be here, and, like, it would be, like, so okay hey, to be loopy. There we go. Here we go. Woo! Whoosh! Ah! Ah! Oof! Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Oh, ha ha ha! Should have thought to conjure stairs. Ha ha ha! Of course it's okay, Nate. It's okay for all of us to have our own opinions and thoughts. I don't... I don't, like... Okay, I can't be friends with you because you think the wrong thing about... 
a rainbow. I mean, I'm not going to do that. That bridge you've seen there today. <clears throat> Samuel Williams, please come in. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We're having a big discussion about rainbows. and I don't know why. My now former roommate broke a bedroom door, slammed things, cursed at me, did all kinds of crappy stuff tonight. So... I'm not having a good night, and I'm having a drink for the first time in a very long time. But I'm glad you're here, Samuel, because it's interesting to get all these opinions. Okay, wait a minute. That's why I just smoked the green. It's too much to think about. Yeah, it's an actual bow pointed at him like a bow and arrow, so God would have to himself. You can sit there quietly, Samuel. That's fine. I'm not in the greatest mood tonight either because the person that I have let live here for quite some time, who is what I thought a good friend, I've been asking him to get his stuff out the last week or so because I want to get that room back. He doesn't pay rent. He has his own apartment that he rents. Uh, anyway, I asked him tonight about it and he broke the bedroom door on the extra room. He wore at me. He cursed. He called me all the, the bad names you can call a woman. Yeah, I had a really crappy night. I haven't had a drink in three months. Not because I was trying to quit drinking, just because I haven't trying to actually lose weight. But tonight I'm having a drink. Actually, I'm on my two and a half drink. Hi, Kimberly. I'm not having a good night, Kimberly, but I'm having a better night now that all my friends are here. All about the roommate. Breaking things. Broke my door. Uh oh, what we got here? <clears throat> no, let's no, let's visit the freaking menu. Oh my gosh! Ugh. It's inventory, right? Is that what it is? No, it's not inventory. What does it want me to freaking look at? No, not that. Enemies. Okay, here we go. Eminies. Eminies or Scrooge. Sorry, David. It's hard for me to not talk about it only because I'm actually scared. I'm scared of him and what he might do. But I will try very much not to talk about it. Oh, Kimberly, it was horrible. I mean, it really was horrible. What do we got here? What do we got here? We don't know. It's a question mark. What about here? Uh, cannot upgrade, so bye. Thanks for coming in, Kimberly. Um, I need my friends tonight. I'm glad you're here. Wait, what is Facebook doing? Angela's here too. Thank you, Angela. I'm going to refresh my stream. Just because. Wait a minute, I'm trying to ugh, trying to get my stream up on my iPad and um, uh, 
Okay. Sorry to hear he's acting that way. I don't see some people's comments. I'm sorry, David. It's really annoying. I'm glad you woke up too, Kimberly. Lissy's here too? Lissy! Oh, you know, you guys all came in tonight, and tonight is what I needed, you guys. I needed you. I needed you. Thank you for the likes and the loves and the oh. Bam! Aya! Aya, mama! Aya, mama! Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? Ooh, that's like a goblin guy. So is that. Oh, they're getting killed by the speeder spiders. The speedy spiders? It's not the stream, it's Facebook. They're filtering out comments and making people delete them if they say something bad. Okay, I took off all the moderation of my comments. I took it all off, but it's still taking out. Even if they're not saying something bad, I was missing a lot of Reina's comments, and they were just, she was just telling jokes. Kimberly, Lizzie, just so you know, I haven't drank in three months. Tonight, I'm having drinks because it was so upsetting to go what I went through, go through what I went through with my now ex roommate, I guess. We're making say. quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. He uh, she would at that. broke, Ramrock's kicked a hole in, and war. punched a crack in the spare room door, the room he was staying in. Cursed and swore, called me all the awful names that you could call a woman. And I'm just actually afraid of him. Has a lot of his stuff still here, so I know he'll be back. Oh, I got a hiccup. Okay, I haven't had a drink in, what, three months? Now I had two drinks, a little over two drinks, and I have the hiccups. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. <clears throat> we have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Slam and ancient magic. Yes. It's almost like a fight. 
Defeat him with ancient magic if it doesn't. I will have my revenge. Give me the option. Oh, I got the hiccups. Oh, I'm so sorry. This will not go well for you. Okay, hang on a second. Um. Hang on, I gotta go back, back, back. <laughs> Ruben, thank you. I have the hiccups. I'm sorry. Hang on.
Okay, I'm sorry. I'm back. I got sidetracked. I went to check the rat trap in the garage, and then I came in and I checked, started to check where his his meds, and then <sighs> I ended up throwing a bunch of crap away from the cupboard where he kept stuff. Okay, I gotta go back. Ruben's here. Hey, Ruben. It's not the stream. Okay, Angela said, okay, thank you. Ruben said, hey. I was thinking I might take a check. Okay. I mean that playthrough is up where she's dead. We will see what people think. I said something horrible once on a cat video. <laughs> Poor kitty cat didn't deserve to be beaten up by her own because she got pregnant and lost an eye and broke jaw. Working along the main story in Morrowind with my second character, my mentor in the blades gave me some oops money, whoops, and told me to go and do something freelance. Uh, go out and brush up your skills. Yeah, sorry, Gerald. I'm very nervous tonight that he's going to come back. I'm actually anxious and scared that he's going to come back. So I went and checked things. Because, yeah. What are we fighting? We're still fighting something. Where is it? What are we fighting? What are we fighting? Oh! Bam! Certainly cleared the room. Don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. We Slytherins are teeming with it. I'm a Slytherin, and it's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Picked my roommate out, and he made me pay. <sighs> Broke my door, hurt <sighs> my feelings. Have a look around. In Called me everything bad in the world. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, which way am I supposed to be going? Oh, I got lost. I think I need to go up here. How do I get up there? Is there a... Oh, here we go. No, we need this. And then we need this. Oh, it's one of these. I don't remember doing this with... Uh, what's his face? Sebastian. I don't know if my other character did or not. There's that one. That one. And there's a third one. There's always three, right? That one, that one, and where's number three? Is there one up here? Oh, I can't go up there. I just came down from so one, two. Revelia. Where's number three? Well, we can try it with two, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Confringo.
There's a oh room symbol above the cabin door. Ranrock's loyalist will have a need to look for it. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, hang on. I heard something. I see someone. She needs to do her homework before playing games. Who does? Gerald, what do you mean? I need to do my homework. Do you mean I need to do homework? About what? I need to not drink again. But yes, tonight made me drink. Sorry. Whoops. I meant to do that. I know he's got to come back to get his stuff. So that scares me for one thing. I don't want to see him ever again. But I'll have to. Poor Kai is dealing with a junior member that just can't take a hint. Oh, but Kimberly, you're so good at it. You'll you'll get it. Gerald, who did you mean needs to do homework? I didn't know. What, I don't know what you meant by that. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet sorry, but I don't know what you mean by she needs to do her homework before playing games. Personally, I've never played this game before, so I don't know how I could do homework about it. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Yeah, this quest is different with this character. Another passageway. We should search the room first. Yes, we should search the room first. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Where? Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Where'd I find Still, it? Something about this place feels odd. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, what's wrong with my coat? Assume that Isadora Morganhawk was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, Angela, I keep them completely out of the space? house. And why hide it behind cryptic rooms? And I have all the locks and locked. And ancient magic that no one could see. easily break a window or Isadora a door and break Percival in. Rackham, another of the keepers, could Time see traces ago. of ancient magic too. Rackham, I haven't heard his name before. His is well, thanks, Gerald. She is a teenage I don't think girl. Has been eye thrown this magic into should be used. This, this is world. all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. Oh. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Use the magic passageway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's magic. You know, Quiet now. never be. Oh, bam! She is a teenage girl. She's a uh, sixth year, so I don't know. For the moments of truth, it has to fit. It's got to fit. It got to. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do. In fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. He's the type of person, though, that locks won't keep out. I know that coast. He already broke Ran the spare room door. Huge mine in I the don't surrounding know if you area. saw in the, uh... Marin Ween has suffered for it. Chat. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. He broke it. Should we head there now? 
We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Runrock. I may know someone who oh. can help us get ahead. Who is I haven't that? drank in three months. I'm going to probably feel crappy. Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. Having an you education know, is goblins important. goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins. Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Sebastian, don't Have be racist. Have you forgotten the mind we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Find Sebastian F you as my uh, roommate yelled from the driveway tonight. And he didn't say it nicely. He said the whole word. The whole world. He said the whole world. The word. Oh my gosh. Revelio. He said the whole freaking word. Oh, Professor Fitzgerald has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's magic. You know. Is Dane gone? 16, so yeah, she's not a teenager. Not, oh, I just did this, but I'm going to do it again anyway. I have to go to the map chamber. Duh, map chamber. I'm so glad you guys are all here with me. Um, I really needed to be with you guys tonight. Huh. Excuse me, Sebastian. You're being an a, being an a hole. You're being an a hole. Being an a hole. Where is that Adelaide Oaks? She has a quest for me. Somebody here has a quest. Perhaps not. Snot. Perhaps not. In the restricted section. What did you think you'd find there? Answers to your exams? If I didn't. Even a trace. Okay. Let's go find it. I can't believe this character is caught on to all. Never believe it's not so. Oh, I'm so glad you're still here, Dane. I never swim in Morrowind because slaughterfish isn't the biggest problem. It's my draw. Draw. They are part human, part octopus, part person. I don't know what you mean by they're my. They're my draw, my draft, my draft. My drop. I what? I deserve a location. They what? I'm glad you're still here, Dane. So long as you've been here in a long time, and I'm. I wish you were actually here tonight because I'm scared, and I would like somebody here that I trust. But yeah.
that's just the way it is. Imagine solving Some things will never change. And then not telling me the answer. That's just the way it is. Ah, but don't you believe me? I don't own the rights to the song I was just singing. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's all I have to say about that. Speak to the... Oh, I just need to do... Wait a minute. I need to go to the secret rooms. What's wrong with me? Why am I doing all this? Secret rooms. The map chamber. Wait a minute. Oh, part humane, part octopus, part crustacean. Oh, I didn't. I read it, but I didn't get that that's what they were. Sorry. I'm sorry, Kimberly. I know you would, Dane, and I love you for that. Thank you. Sorry, Kimberly. I did see that. I just didn't read it uh, correctly. I'm going to do this. Because we're about to do a map chamber. The map chamber. Yes, the map chamber. The map chamber. Er, er, which is going to give us another... Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most troubling. Most are troubling. Are repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is very nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? Wait, David, what? I had I hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, David, I don't know what you mean. That sounds kind of concerned with anything but himself. <laughs> You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Uh, well, we'll find some way, some way to, get, to in. get in. Good. I, I shall meet you in my portrait, portrait there. there. Until then. No, Kimberly, it's totally okay that you say things about Marwin. I just missed the part where you said what a draw whatever it is was and i felt bad that it was right there in front of my face and i didn't see it of course you could talk morrowind i want you to talk about morrowind how will i gain access to the headmaster i will office? probably not Perhaps play it Professor Fig i might what to do but having you talk about it is almost like getting to play it i don't know what i said that made you think i didn't want you to say it was okay Miss up and push the button on the side of the mask and breathe in instead of out, but still past it kind of burned my skin. Okay, what? Okay, David, I'm confused. Are you talking real life gas mask? And Kimberly, I don't know what I said to make you think I wouldn't want you to talk about Marwin because I would. I've had to an little over, well I've had two two drinks and this much tonight I haven't drank in three months I'm a little looped and not catching everything and I'm sorry I'm sorry Kimberly if I made something said something To make you think that I didn't want you to talk to about Marwin because of course I do. I love hearing about it because like I say, I'll probably never play it. If I do, it'll only be if you're here. And it's one of the trainings I went through at Fort Knox. Okay, so David, 
not to be rude, but what made you bring that up about the gas chamber? Is it part of the game that I'm somewhere that I am in the game that made you bring that up? I'm sorry. Where am I supposed to go? What the heck here? Who's this? I understand that that's one of the trainings you went through. I just don't understand what brought it up. I don't know. I think I'm missing something somewhere. I don't know. And I feel bad that Kimberly would think that I didn't want her to talk about Morrowind, because I do want her to talk about Morrowind. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friend. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me in the Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. I think I know how oh, okay, and David. where to Sorry. the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Okay, somebody here needs a talking to. But see, I passed it already. Where are they? Pavilion. Are they in here? No. Oh my gosh. Sometimes when you jump in Marwin, you end up just having hovering in the air like you took that jump, got distracted, and forgot to land. Oh no. Okay, how do I... get there? I'm sorry, Kimberly, if I messed up. I'm sorry, everybody, if I messed up. I had a really freaking stressful, very stressful night, and I'm really anxious about what the next couple days is going to bring. So, yes, I've had drinks. I haven't had drinks in three weeks, but I'm having drinks. And so I get a little confused easily. Heartbreak pill. Angela, there's a pill for heartbreak. <laughs> I wish I had that. Revelia. I've had my heart broken a couple of times. Like, really badly. Is he the guy? Oh no, it's this way. It's down. Down, 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 down to the ground. Now what am I supposed to do? I don't actually care what you're supposed to do. I'm trying to get extra Pardon me. Things. Is everything all right? No. No, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. I figured it was heartburn. <laughs> I was teasing you like, bells? there's a pill for heartbreak? Professor Black I need ordered that. Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of... It was going swimmingly until... Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? I can oh, help with the wonderful. bells. I've done it before the without the, the quest. Tower, just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Uh, 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 uh. I imagine the bells are just inside the bell tower. Oh, 
da 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 Why does that look like Christmas? No. I don't do Christmas. Not in my games. Bad enough to have Christmas in the, uh... Hello. Revelio. Bad enough to have Christmas in real life. Wait a minute. Is that Adelaide? Hello, Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's fiends were after those deposits and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin crawl. Skin crawl? Oh, it's clear you saved my uncle from a very bad lot. It was nothing at all, Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. I, for one, can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds. Yes, I'm going to be looking over my shoulder for a while now, too. Because of my ex roommate he wasn't even actually a roommate but yeah whatever i know what he's capable of and it scares me go on to the music room blah 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 Go to the music room. Blah blah. I've, I've, I've already done the bells. Revenge. I've already done the bells with a different character, so this shouldn't be, hopefully, too difficult. <sighs> I'm still having trouble getting a deep breath, though. Cause I'm no, because I'm nervous, anxious. I'm anxious. Huh. The bells must be upstairs. Yes, the bells are upstairs. Already know this. Huh. Found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. Wingardium Leviosa! <laughs> One, let's look for number two. How about a boop, 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 boop. No, it's not out here. Dumbo. Dumbo the elephant. Dumbo the elephant. Way up there? Seriously. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Where's the bell? Where the hell is the bell? Revelio. Oh, there it is. Right there. And it needs to go... Oh, crap. Okay, so we gotta go up here and grab it. Where'd it go? Where is it? Ridiculous. Oh, there it is. Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this, even if Black isn't. I guess I did it. Didn't look like I did it, but I guess I did. I guess I did. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <sighs> I talked to my sponsor in house, Lalu, and he started to want to talk some business with me, only to realize that I. Oops. Hang on. I only realized that I wasn't high enough rank. Like, I have some... Oops. I have some business... Oh, sorry. You know how I feel about you, but I can only discuss it of higher rank. Oh, no! Is Kirby actually here? <sighs> oh, Kirby. I need my friends tonight, Kirby. I told my roommate that he needs to move out, and he broke a door in several places. I kicked it and punched it. He um, threatened me, called me every kind of awful name you can call a woman. Um, yeah, it's not been a good night. But hanging with you guys has been making it great. Oops. Great. Great. No, it seriously has made it much. What is this? It says there is a chest here, but I don't see it. It's weird. Oh, it's upstairs. It's gotta be up a step. Why? It's Christmas, I guess, now? My least favorite time of the year. Of the year. Only because it's stressful. I like it overall, but I, thought I don't. I thought I could count on my friend. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear. Are them. you actually here, Kirby? I wish I could see his face. It'd be nice to know. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do, and I hope that you do as well. You don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Oh well, yes, I do. <laughs> uh no, I don't. But yes, I do. Kirby, it was such a bad night that after three months, I actually had... Well, now I'm on my third drink. I haven't had any alcohol in three months. But it was pretty bad. Oops, I meant to save. Oops! Oops! I did it again.
What is the quest? What is my quest? Oh, we have several. Okay, I'm going to do this first. Oh, I got something in my eye. Hang on. Ouch. I actually, even though he's not here, like, in my head, I can still hear my roommate snoring. It's so weird, because I've heard him snore forever. Up above the trees, so that you don't kill me, please. Would you eat a baby goat or a matter? A matter baby? Uh heard it so many nights that your brain expects it. That's true. Nain? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if I need to block you or what. I don't know what you're talking about. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming. What so is a matter, baby? It's less of a meeting and more of a surprise. I suppose. Name Sat to see. I banned that person because I don't know who, what they were talking about. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... Never mind. Never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. Speaking of secrets, I do want to tell you why Victor Rookwood's after me. He's working with Ranrock. And Ranrock's after oh, something... we're I coming clean Gringos. with Poppy? They had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps explain a bit of so, what So, you guys, I banned that name, Sai, because I didn't understand own. what they were saying. And the didn't sound won't good. Know. We'll simply so, be honest with them about what we're trying to yeah. do. They'll have to help us. If any of they? you know yes, that person and You're think they should right. be allowed in, let me know. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. Oh, here come the centaurs. Centaurs are very hunky. I have to say they're very hunky. I'm sorry, they are. They're very hunky. 
hunky dory. Well, look at them. They're all muscular and they've what got their. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please. We were hoping to speak with you. Ah. I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, oh, David, there was a person. The name was N A N E. Last name was T S A I. And judgment in coming Asking really weird things and saying what's wrong with me or something. So I banned them. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not. Oh, it is not our way. You this is almost like place, someone should make a movie with I'm centaurs of this instead of Avatar. It should be centaur. Way. Their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without taking. <laughs> That's just my. From what I can silly see, they have slaughtered no reflection. They will leave here unharmed. Yeah, buckaroo, unharmed. Them. If I ever see them again, it will be all three. Of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. I believe they were forcing a joke. Me, Got you to ask the what's the matter. And the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Oh. Please I didn't even get that, Dane. Before the poachers do. Well, could it be too bad? In the south, there is a cave. Do you think I overreacted, Dane? Seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snitches? I don't even realize that that's what I was saying. So What's the matter? Matter. Okay. One. Uh, well, I can't look back on it. Oh well. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What, overdone and gone. Thank I you very too. much. I thought it's you were saying shame how quickly he overdone, left. but you said what over name? done, not Doran. overdone. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, thank you, Dane. I can't believe you're still here this long, Dane. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I have to use the little I'll girls' room. And I will be right back, you guys. Oh, it's so nice. I have my house to myself. Hang on, I'll be right back.
Okay, well, my dog, Leo, took over my spot. Um, excuse me, Leo. Okay, I gotta read. I am trying... Wait a minute. I only got because I heard up dog so many times. Overdone. Okay. A troll, I believe, that was in this chat for two seconds. Dane is trying. What are you trying, Dane? But they wandered. They wandered in a stream. Started with things like that. But yeah. Exactly, Kimberly. Well, that's not the way I want to do it. Did I just save 1250? What is it now? One something. 102. Okay. I just have to say, you guys, all of you guys, I love you so much, and thank you for hanging with me, especially tonight, which was a really difficult evening and night. I know he's going to come back. I know he's going to call and text and do all that crap. Ah, okay. No. Let's go up here. And do this just because we can. And because. Going on meat. He's likely studied here. Oh, come on. I can land. Thank you. Thank you very much. Exactly, Kimberly. Exactly. Okay, I don't know which way this is supposed to go. Oh, I think I do. Come on. No, it's out. Oh, come on. Oh, seriously. There it is. Draco, the dragon. Thank you, Kimberly. Kimberly, not Kimberly. Yes, Kimberly. I don't need a hippogriff. I need to go. Wait, where do I need to go? What the hay is going on here? Why am I out in the middle of nowhere? Oh, I just finished something. That's why. Okay. To 
ticker, 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 ticker. Let's save again and then go on from here. Get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Yes, it does. Ah! I keep running into things and then I can't run at all. Natty! Natty! Natsai! Ready to put an end to Halo. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. Testing him out. I and have a plan. We must gather butt, information so from the friends of Mr. Bigger that Archie and Mrs. Bigger mentioned. And Mrs. Bigger mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Alright, I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. What doll and can my stand like a ballerina forever? I don't know, Barbie. She's less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need oh, to know Brian, they are thank being you so much for hanging out. I love Let's you too. After you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. A bit more freely? Well, where am I supposed to find these people? Ah? Huh? Blue flames are unavailable? Why? Okay, whatever. Oh, uh, okay, whatever. I'll go this way. Good night, Brian. I hope you have sweet dreams. And I hope to talk to you soon. Hope to see you tomorrow night. Tonight. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, why can't I...
three broomsticks. Okay, let's go to the three broomsticks. <coughs> is this the three broomsticks? Yes, yes it is. I think I have to go upstairs. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Should is the key word there, because she's not actually nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence. She has him. pointy Poor feet. Little <laughs> she does and have pointy Harlow feet. Taking my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course, I declined repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note oh, that's good, to my Kimberly, door with that a knife. More confident. The note stated that I only had that's, a few days I like to reconsider that. helping with um, some banking I feel that way in Skyrim. And that my husband would appreciate pretty much feel that way in here now me. and I but the felt that way in Greedfall too. Is help that I cannot give. Uh, when, when I played Isco is Fallout, when I played Oblivion and Morrowind, I did not feel confident. And, you know, it's I don't know. It just seems to go better when you feel confident. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful. Albeit when you feel destroyed. confident in a game, then you can enjoy it more. Us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Don't put yourself in danger. Best to keep this between us so we understand my meaning. Some evidence okay. worth hanging on to. Thank you. A spot of a tree. it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Mr. Bickle. Mr. Bickle. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been. Uh, Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about the. I had Harlow. fun before, I him. but I felt rather uh, lost. May I oh, I knew that. A stunning yeah. cravat today. <clears throat> please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Hmm. All right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know, Mr. Dane, are you still there? I want you to troll attack. beam oh, yourself man. here. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. No, wish you could too. I could use a hug. <laughs> it all happened so I could quickly. use an all-night in an cuddle. instant. He took the a very expensive cuddle. scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, "Your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often." I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative... I have no thing. idea what this guy is but saying. He's just talking, talking, talk, 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 talk. I'm terrified to say anything. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban. As for Rosie's letter... Understood. Okay, I off before Mr. Now have to speak returns. to one more person when who is I? down. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. The last 
The last of his friends got to be this way. Kitty, 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 kit, kit, kitty, kit, kitty. Is it in here? No. Not in here. Oh, it's up here. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. I can open this place now because I have all the openings. I'm not Hello talking more. to you yet, dude. No, Angela, thank you. Angela and Dane, thank you. I just feel, I mean, I always, even though he lived here, I felt alone, but now I feel really alone. And now I'm scared because I'm scared of him because I know, I know him. I've known him since 2008, early 2008. And I know what he's capable of as in violence and being a jerk. And I just wish there was somebody here that I could hug. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. What's his Excuse name? Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. Agabus he wanted me Filbert? To speak out against Agabus? For an act His name of is violence Agabus? Against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. Okay, I'm going to be the snotty girl and go, uh, you should have spoken. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... Perhaps, but... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, Dulcibella? she had just completed a small book of what? poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and pleated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified. Okay, Dane, and I Harlow love you too. was rifling through my home. He found um, the book of poetry. I wish you could too, and I wish you could keep me safe from I this guy, because it's going to not be, it's going to be ugly. Lying there way as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. Two, what is it, two and a half more years? Do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. <sighs> Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Now to find Natty. 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 Oh, wait. I hit the wrong. I hit the wrong thing. Return to Natty. Bum, bum, bum. Address unknown. Boom, boom. Boop, boop, boop. Isaac, welcome in. Good to see you. Okay, I'm totally stuck here. And I don't like it. Thank you for the like, Isaac. 
Thank you much for the like. For the like. For the like. Uh, I had a really crappy night. So thank you for the like. And I wasn't actually trying to rhyme. But I did have a crappy, crappy evening. And yes, truly thank you for the like. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. Okay, let's go there then. Why would they make me go all the way there? Just to have her not be there. Eh? Pretender might seem like harmless fun. One never knows how clever you are. Take up her He must be around here somewhere. Revelia. Oh, Natty. Uh oh. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Velio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. Oh, now we get footsteps again? Really? Remember I kept saying I wish they would make that work in other parts of the game other than looking for that kid nosy little students get what's coming to them <laughs> now shut it bucko before i shut it for you that he must have been taken this way i need to find her quickly the ashwinder hideout Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. <laughs> you know what you guys I've had such a crappy night that I just want to go to bed I'm sorry I know there's seven of you in here and I appreciate you being here but trying to get my quote unquote quote unquote um roommate to leave and having him break things and swear and all that. Um yeah. I'm opening fall guys. I don't know if David Heverin's still here. I was gonna try and at least find him. David, I don't know what you're Oh, he's, I don't know if he's there. Um, I don't know. David, what is your, um,
what is your name on here so that so I can find you? The Jackal 3416. Okay, so let me hit that. I I know how to play, how to play, how to play. Okay. Um How do I find you, David? Do I link you with an Amazon account? I don't know how to find you. Um, but where, where do I search for you? Whoops. I don't know what I just hit. Uh, my, um, J, J, dub 1955 rookie, I guess my rookie. I guess it's rookie. I don't know. Um,
don't know what the hell is going on here. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. It's J Dub nineteen fifty five. Uh, I don't know where to search for you. R for open party. I don't know what R. What, I hit an R? No, this is... <sighs> oh, right. Okay. Invite. What is your name, David? Okay, I'm on invite. T H E and then there's an underscore. Um, why is it? Oh, there we go. And then Jackal. J A C K I hope the caps don't matter L Three, four, one, six. Uh, maybe I have to do the all caps. It's J Dub nineteen fifty five. All capitals. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. T. H. E. Underscore. J A C K A L Is there a space between the L and the numbers? No, oh, it's not finding you. Dang it. It's not going to let us play. Yeah. <laughs> 
You'll have to look for me, J Dub nineteen fifty five. Uh oh. I'm only going to play it once and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm just going to play it once because I'm here. But I would rather play with you, David. Dang it. I suck at this. No, it's like a gold, like, um. Hang on a second. Wait a minute. My profile picture is... It's like a gold... I don't think it's a sheep. It's a gold... Fish. Do you see it? It's a gold fish. Which one is me? This one? I've always sucked at this so bad. Oh, crap. Could do it. <laughs> but I want to change my look. Two, one, go. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, they're random people. Yes, I am logged in to my account. I do not understand this game at all. Mm. 
Okay, I need to get out of this game. You didn't know I play Fall Guys? Yeah, I didn't until tonight. Um, I was just going to try and play it with David, and yeah. Guess I'm not, but welcome in, Thomas. My cheater? He wasn't a cheater. Uh, Thomas, you missed all the action. I told my roommate, you know, to get more of his stuff out. He freaked out and called me all kinds of crappy names and stuff like that. So I told him he needed to leave tonight, and he broke the bedroom door in the spare room. Um, broke some other things in my house. Yeah, it's been a good night. Hmm? But the good part is he's out. Well, I don't think he realizes how out he is. A lot of his crap is still here. Also, um, I haven't had a drink in three months. And tonight, I had three drinks. I made up for three months with three drinks because I was so stressed. I couldn't even breathe. But now I can breathe. Thank you for coming in, Thomas. Uh, because I asked him to, to get his stuff out. He's not an official roommate. He's a friend who's been staying here, and he takes advantage of me. He doesn't pay for anything. He just lives here. Um, yeah, it's pretty crappy. Thank you, Thomas. Um, hopefully he won't come back and, you know, break in and kill me or anything. Oopsie. Okay. Angela. Thomas, I haven't had an alcohol, a drink of alcohol in three months. I think I just told you this, but tonight I did. I was really anxious and nervous. Anyway, good night, you guys. I love you. If I'm not here tomorrow night, I promise. Probably got murdered by my ex roommate. Carlo murdered like your roommate. Um, yeah. In Chico, California. I love you guys. Um, good night. Sweet dreams or have a good day, whichever it is. I'll stay as safe if I, as I can, but, you know, he can break in. He's done that before. Okay, you guys, I love you. Good night. Hopefully see you tonight. Um, I appreciate all of you. Good night. Oh, Raina, I love you. I love all of you. Good night.